Many people criticise the cost of public EV rapid charging and compare it to the price of their home electricity. But it's not the same, and it would be like comparing the cost of water out of your home tap with a pint of beer in a pub. Your home electricity is AC power and currently costs around 26 pence per kilowatt hour or around 7 pence at night with the right tariff. UK public rapid charging networks typically charge around 79 pence per kilowatt hour with the Tesla supercharging network being the cheapest at around 37 pence per kilowatt hour. A rapid charger is delivering DC power and that requires very expensive infrastructure and grid connections with additional ongoing costs such as maintenance, land rent and more. A high powered DC rapid charger can cost between £50,000 and £100,000 each. Then the installation can cost another ten pounds to £50,000 each depending on the site and the grid connections. Then there's significant running cost with maintenance, payment processing, data communication costs and also back office operations and customer support. Cars reverse into them causing additional damage and thieves nick the cables which can cost around £2,000 to replace. Then we have the cost of the electricity. Commercial electricity rates are not the same as the capped UK residential rate. The cost of the grid connection required is huge compared to the standing charge fees on a single phase residential supply. Then there's the VAT. The VAT rate on home electricity is 5%, yet public charging is deemed a service, so the VAT on that is 20%. So while 79 pence per kilowatt hour may seem expensive, the reality is no one is making a killing here. In fact, most are making a loss. Some sites have received grants towards the installation cost, but even still, these operations take a very long time before they're profitable. GridServe have around 1,500 charging bays over 194 locations across the UK and are typically found at motorway services. Yet they've just announced 81 job losses following another year of huge financial losses, with a staggering £82.7 million pre-tax loss last year. So when you criticise the cost of public charging, just have a look at the infrastructure around you, which is often hidden behind fencing. And just think how much that all costs and why you have to pay more than charging at home. Because taking 7 kilowatt AC power out of the grid at home isn't the same as rapid charging with DC power up to 350 kilowatt in a shared public place. You may be wondering how Tesla can do rapid charging for half the cost of other UK networks. It's because Tesla owns and operates its supercharging network, controlling everything from design and manufacturing through to deployment. This vertical integration reduces costs compared to competitors who rely on third-party hardware, software, installation and maintenance providers. Has this video changed your mind? Let me know in the comments below. And also share this, especially if you know someone who complains about the cost of public charging. And if you found this video useful or just liked it, please let YouTube know by pressing the thumbs up button as that really helps. And if you want to see other videos on the UK's charging infrastructure, see the link below to a playlist of other videos I've made or just browse through the thousand plus other videos on the channel. Okie doke, I'll see you on the next one.